Hello my dear friends, in my old YouTube videos on the frequency of emotions, I discussed how different emotions are linked to different frequencies. High vibration emotions like love, joy and gratitude resonate at higher frequencies, while low vibration emotions like fear, anger and shame exist at lower frequencies. But many of my viewers had one big question. How are these frequencies actually measured? So here is the answer. Friends, every emotion and thought produces an electromagnetic field, influencing our energy and the surroundings. Our brain, heart and nervous system constantly emit these signals, which shift based on our emotional state. Advanced scientific tools can detect and measure these subtle energy changes, revealing how emotions impact our body and mind. Studies suggest that positive emotions generate harmonious frequencies, while negative emotions create chaotic patterns. So how do scientists actually measure emotions and their associated frequencies? Friends, one of the most well-known tools is EEG or electroencephalography. Our brain produces electrical waves that change with emotions. When we are stressed or anxious, fast frequency beta waves dominate. But when we are relaxed, meditative or in deep emotional states, lower frequency alpha and theta waves appear. EEG machines record these waves, helping scientists understand emotional shifts. Then we have HRV or heart rate variability and ECG or electrocardiography. Our heart rhythms change with emotions. The HeartMath Institute found that positive emotions create smooth rhythmic heart patterns while negative emotions cause chaotic irregular rhythms. ECG and HRV sensors track these changes revealing how emotions affect heart function. Another powerful tool is fMRI or functional magnetic resonance imaging. This technology measures blood flow in the brain, showing which areas become active during different emotional states. For example, the amygdala lights up when we feel fear, while the prefrontal cortex is linked to happiness and decision making. And have you ever noticed how your hands sweat when you are nervous? This happens because emotions trigger tiny electrical changes in the skin. That's where GSR or galvanic skin response comes in. GSR sensors detect these changes showing the intensity of emotional arousal. Now AI based facial and voice recognition takes things even further. AI can analyze micro expressions and voice tone to detect emotions. Even tiny facial muscle movements or a slight change in voice pitch can reveal happiness, sadness or stress. This technology is already being used in psychology, security and even marketing. Now you may ask, but why does all of this matter? Friends, measuring emotions is not just some cool experiment, it has some real world applications. In mental health, devices that track emotions could help diagnose and treat conditions like depression, anxiety and PTSD. In artificial intelligence, AI systems that understand human emotions could make virtual assistants and robots more empathetic. And when it comes to personal growth, if emotions are measurable, we can actually learn to shift our emotional frequency using meditation, music or positive thinking. Now, if emotions are just energy, can we change our frequency? Science suggests we can. Practices like deep breathing, gratitude and meditation can shift brain waves and heart rhythms, helping us control emotions better. And imagine a future where technology could instantly adjust our emotions, a device that could make us happy or calm with the push of a button. Sounds like science fiction, right? Maybe not for long. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.